guys, name's Finn! Hey guys, name's Finn, playing a game! Where did I stick that guy? Oh shit, there, apparently... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, I'm going to head upstairs right now and use this key, you guys! Can you believe it? Oh man, it's Frederick's key. Of course, I should actually bless this dagger with holy water before venturing into heaven, because you got to be holy before getting into heaven. That is, I think, probably the idea of heaven, although I'm no heaven scholar. Oh, you're still sleeping. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> very good thief. Oh, yeah, very good thief, yeah. Okay, so sanctify, destroy the thing, and then destroy the thing. Okay, well, this might be another short episode. Don't know. It's short because it's on normal. Sigh. So I'm not even gonna cut. Gonna make you guys watch everywhere I walk around and listen to me babble and listen to me babble. And then maybe if you're really, really, really feeling frisky, listening to me babble with an ing at the end. Because it's, you know, the super version of the word. And like I said before, something about supers being better than non-supers. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, let's pick a lock. Yeah, I love picking a lock. However, actually, oh yeah, I already used the captain's key. That's right! I'm right! I love it when I'm not totally and horribly awfully wrong. Oh, this is definitely gonna be some loud floor scene. Even normal can be a challenge, and by challenge I mean just sort of crawl along the floor. Yeah, whatever. Alrighty. See, I'm getting even more loot to pretend that I had a higher loot goal. Well, oh, I'm honorable. Um, Desi barely looked at me again today. That's the third day in a row. I'm beginning to get worried. It's especially alarming during meal times. He sits there, in Desi, he sits there eating but not tasting, looking but not seeing. His eyes remain dark, vacant, then focused on some long lost hunk of junk, no doubt. I try to talk to pleasantly in an attempt to get his attention, but I might as well be talking to the wall. At this point, I could probably have Jonesy take me on the table right in front of me. He wouldn't notice or care. Wow, okay. If he's absent from my bedchamber for much longer, I just might. Ah, uh, something is horribly wrong. Desi has changed somehow. He's no longer the man that I met so many years ago. He's no longer the man that I left my home and family for. He burst into my room last night. Voice booming and unnatural, and and this is really awkward, and horrible, and 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 wow, that that's <laughs> wow. Things just got really damn serious and not goof worthy at all. Also, there's something up here. This is that mission, yeah. You know, this is this is that. She's gonna uh, she's gonna protect. Why is this so damn serious all of a sudden? I mean, I mean, it starts out with a nice joke about somebody's wife looking like a burrick, and then this. Oh well. Can't be helped. People getting raped in ye old times. Can't be helped. Don't even try to use that time machine there, son. It can't be helped. If you change history so that somebody does not get uh, physically horrified, it will mean the Pentium 3 was never invented. And you really want a future like that? Pointless cut because it's two feet in front of the last one. Oh, hey. It, it's not marble, even though it looks like it. Thank groppin' goodness for that blibbity blue thing. Also, I'm not going to get that because what is this? It's it's a thing that looks like you got to put these broken triad gems into there if you ask me. But okay, yeah, I remember this room and, and, and yeah, that I remembered a mission where, where she talked about a guy taking on a table. I didn't realize it was this one. I thought it was a completely different one with a completely different style. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking that thing yet because I kind of want to explore first. Because I have the strange memory like it could mean something awful. To whom it may concern, I would like someone out to replace the door. I would like someone out to replace the door that I had put in last week immediately. Whoever the idiotic builder was, they made the brick size on the door too small. It's supposed to blend in with the wall, but now it sticks out like a sore thumb. If it does not get replaced within one week after receiving this letter, then I'll be taking it up with a city business bureau. Sincerely, Desi River. Oh. Oh, oh, so that key floating above is no doubt the key I need for that, but like I said, just kind of uh, waddling around here with my dome top before uh, committing to a thing, because God knows I hate commitment. I'm not committed to God at all. He understands. He goes, well, that's okay, son, you know. My doors are always existent to you, and I go, thanks. Okay, anyway. Uh, I think 
that I may want to do that. I mean, I don't know, just just saying. But also, there's there's a part of the wall with bricks that are too small, I suppose. It's a secret passage. Maybe I should actually look for it, you know, instead of instead of like not. Okay, so I guess this is his room. Just walking around in a guy's room. Oh, I see. It's this. Right. And I guess there should be a switch, or maybe it will just be open up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to use later on, I suppose. Well, this is my way out. Better not mess with it. Okay, so now that I'm done dilly-dallying and silly-sallying and making other rhymes that make a lot of sense and will get me on the super radio, everything's super with me today. Obviously. Big comics aficionado. No, not at all, but hey, whatever. Unless there are uh, comics about MLP done by uh, very silly people who use the word buck off a lot. A note from Lord Desmond. Agent, yes, I know you're here, and I know what you're here for. Don't worry, you can have the codex back. I willingly offer it to you. I just need you to do something for me first. As you doubtlessly know already, this old manor has quite a history. It was built by Marcus Taverian, a great Hammerite conqueror in the days of the city's beginning. Legend has it that Marcus, being a great collector of ancient precursor relics, managed to have a few of them hidden in his manor just before his revolt against the Order and his untimely end. No one knows how many relics are hidden for sure, but I have reason to believe that there are at least two that I'm very interested in. The artifacts that I'm interested in are actually masks that were worn by the ancient precursors during the festival of sun and moon. The first mask is in the likeness of the sun and emanates an unnatural heat. It is called the visage of the sun. The second is a mask in the likeness of the moon. It is called, as you may have guessed, the visage of the moon. Based on etchings in ruined walls and ancient maps that I've encountered over my travels, I have a reason to believe that Marcus Taverian hid them here. I have confidence that an experienced agent like yourself has no doubt come across many such relics in your travels, and should not have much trouble uncovering their whereabouts. Once you find the masks, place them on the stands that I've set before you, and their united power should dispel the ward that I've cast on the key above the pedestal. Use this key to unlock the chest in my quarters to recover the codex. I don't need it anymore. Then, and only then, may you leave. Oh, he doesn't need it anymore. That's pretty spooky. Okay, find the visage of the moon and the sun. Yeah, well, there was one room that was supposed to be hot. And another that was supposed to be cold, which I think was downstairs. It was like a storage room. Did I hear the chains of a haunt? I guess not. I'm gonna just jaunt on my merrily way here and not even consider that I might have heard the chains of a haunt. Okay, yeah, it was this room. It was supposed to be hot. So the mask... It could be in some sort of secret passage. I don't know. Let's look around a bit. Oh. Let's stop looking around a bit because there it freaking is. It even radiates through the wall. And it even has one-sided texture. Amazing. And... Whoa, I thought there was an alarm. But no, it's just... Whoa. And, 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 and. This probably down here was a storage room. I think a storage room might be downstairs. I'm not really sure, but oh, well, why not give it a try? This is some sort of wine cellar. Wait a minute, where was it that I read? Where was it that I read that anyway? Okay, these might constitute some form of. St oh, <laughs> what the hell? I'm just getting super lucky today. You could, you know, you could tell because I've appeased the super god by saying his name in vain a whole bunch of times. He's a strange one and does not obey orthodoxy, so he needs to be killed because that will make us happier. Well, okay then. I, I seriously, that was just luck. Like, I was just going, picking crates off and... Man. <laughs> I'm on fire. And there's a phallic plant. It's pretty great. It really gives uh, an indication of the serious tone of this mission. So, for some reason... The statue of Marcus What's-His-Face is up on the third floor here, but is it like one of these? Because that's kind of three, but, uh, hey. Oh, well, who cares? Let's get the thing! Alright. And... Oh, the chest isn't here. It's somewhere else. Okay, that's funny. I remember something really nasty happening here, but oh, I'm probably misremembering because that happens ever. Okay. Let's get the thing. Press the science button. All right. 
Another no. <laughs> I believe that many thanks are in order. You found the masks that have eluded me for years. I couldn't have hoped for more. As you may have noticed, the Codex is not in this chest. Indeed, it is far from it. You see, in my obsession with the Codex, I had reached a snag. I did not have the power needed to enact the ancient spells etched within the pages of the book. I needed the power of the Precursors, for it was them who had written it. As you are reading this, I am no doubt halfway through one such spell. Many thank are in order indeed. You've handed me this city on a silver platter. P.S. I'll be taking back everything you've stolen from me. Violently. Rest in peace, my eager stooge. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure he doesn't mean it. That's okay. Okay, so... Destroy the Codex. So I still have to get it. Hide. Oh, I'm hiding. The actual trickster is coming for me. But, uh, it's not a problem. Cause look at him, just standing there like a fool. Look at him. Ho 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 ho! Fool! He doesn't even have a whip. What a fool. Okay. So, am I supposed to listen for more instructions from old Tamzarian president here, or what? Oh. Is that guy just gonna keep running back and forth, or what? Don't know, but it's cool that this thing sort of loops around so that you can hear the scary dude just a-walking and a-walking and a-walking. Oh, there's another being. He summoned some gigglers. How unfortunate. Might I have... no? What sort of tools do I have? Nothing, really, I don't think. Flares. Very limited on what stuff you got here. Blackjack. That's it! Wow! Even on normal. Don't want you having any trick usage here, then, do they? What's what's you guys' deal, huh? Your deal is to try to kill me? I don't know. But I don't even have a sword, so it's like so I guess I'm just supposed to like leave for some reason. <laughs> How do I destroy the codex if I don't know where it is? He didn't tell me where it was, did he? Well, here's the passage. Unfortunate. Wait, it's the dagger, right? I have to bless the dagger and, and I bless the dagger. I have it, right? Ah. Oh. Probably have to find a book and use this dagger on it, I guess. But this, this this isn't it. It's just some random book. Far. It's far from the chest. Okay. Gotcha. If I'm to take that literally, then I guess I should go downstairs or something? Oh, it's there! And by the way, I've knocked these two uh, screamers out. Just, just so you know, unfortunately. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> you may take the dagger as a memento. It may also help you in your travels. Farewell, thief. All right. Well, that's it. Well, you know what? No, I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna do this correctly. Just not even knock them out. Just go up here, just so you can see that I'm, I'm, I'm super good. Yeah, I'm, I'm super. Yeah, I'm super good. Okay. Well done, Thank you. Well, that's that's it. It's a contest mission, so it's short but sweet, and has one part that is fairly disturbing. But uh, whatever. Text is text, and uh, it's never scary. Cupcakes, <laughs> not scary. Ugh. Not pukey either. Okay, missed some loot. Anyways, yeah, as Ashton does. So, hey, see you guys next time. Bye for now.